Number 53, consider this question. What is the molarity of potassium permanganate, KMnO4, in a solution of 0.0908 grams of potassium permanganate? And that's in 0.5 liters, right, of the solution. So A, we have to outline the steps that are necessary to answer the question. And then obviously in letter B, we have to answer the question. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Well, the first thing is we should know a formula for molarity, right? And that formula is right here, right? And I'll just put it up here. The overall molarity formula is capital M, right? M for molarity. Molarity equals the moles of the solute divided by the liters of solution. More simply, we can know this formula as capital M equals just moles divided by liters. So I'm just going to put that over here, right? This is our new formula. And actually, yeah, I'll do it over here. Capital M equals moles over liters. Okay. Now, if they're asking for the molarity, that probably means that we need to know the moles and the liters. Now, did they give us any of that? Well, they gave us a gram value, right? But they did give us a liter. So they didn't give us the moles, but they did give us the liters. They told us that that volume was 0.500 liters. So I can't use this formula until I do something first. So for letter A, and I'll write that over here, the first thing that we have to do is we have to convert, and maybe I won't put a dot, maybe I'll put a slash here. So the first thing we have to do, or maybe I'll just say step one. Step number one is to convert the 0 0.0908 grams of KMnO4, and I need to convert that into the moles of KMnO4. Because then I'll have the correct units. I'll have the moles, right, which we will use for the top. They already gave us the liters. So that would be step two. Step two would be to just plug into the molarity formula. So this would be a two-step problem. So that answers letter A. We outlined the steps. There's basically two steps here. Now we just have to answer the question. So let's figure out what this amount of grams is into this amount of moles. Well, we can do a dimensional analysis, right? But there's an easy way to go from grams of one thing, labeled X, to moles of the other thing, or actually grams of one thing into moles of the same thing. They're both X. And I'm going this way, right? So I'm starting with grams and I'm going to moles. So I'm going this way. So all I got to do is I got to take my gram value and divide by the molecular weight. But now you you might be saying, well, where's the molecular weight? Ah, you had to figure this out on the periodic table, PT. So the first thing I have to do, well, I guess that would be like step 1A, right? We have to find out the molecular weight or the molar mass. It's the same thing of KMnO4. So get calces out and... Let's see, go to that periodic table. We've done tons of problems like this. Keep in mind that you have one potassium, one manganese, and four oxygens when you're timesing by your masses. I'm going to get the exact numbers. You could round them off. Our answer should roughly be relatively the same. So I got 158.04, and that's grams per mole. Okay. So now what did we say? In order to get the moles, I have to take the grams that I have and just divide by the molecular weight. So we'll do letter B. We'll do letter B over here. So letter B, I take the grams, 0 0.0908, and I divide by the molar mass, 158.04. Our answer should technically have three uh, sig figs, right? Because this number has three sig figs. So let's do it. 0 0.0908 divided by um, the 158.04. Really, really, really small number. If rounded to three sig figs, we get 5.75 times 10 to the negative fourth. And that's the moles. Okay. So we now found the mole value that we needed to use the formula. This number 
is now 5.75, 5.75 times 10 to the negative fourth. And now we can finally just divide. So maybe I will actually move this over just so that we have room. And now here we go. Using this formula, moles divided by liters, capital M molarity equals 5.75 times 10 to the negative fourth. And that's all divided by the 0 0.500. If we keep the units, that's fine, right? This would be moles divided by liters. As you can see, the units do not cancel out. So those would be the units for the final answer. So let's see, 5.75 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 0.5. I get, if I put it into scientific notation, 1.15 times 10 to the negative three. Whoop. Negative three. And that's either in capital M, capital M is acceptable for uh, units of molarity, or it would just be mole divided by liter. So either or is fine with me, but that is your molarity. That rhymed. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, guys, this was it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to. Uh, that would help us out. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.